Principle of Progression It's important to consider proper steps in training to produce optimal adaptations and improve your current state. If you are currently at a plateau, try out these recommendations to progress your current training program. It's true, an individual must stress the body to elicit an adaptation. As the body continues to enhance qualities of power, strength, or endurance, you must continue to make progressions to produce further change. You may ask yourself, how is this possible? This video will provide five recommendations to help improve your programming. First, frequency. Currently, how many days a week are you training? Depending on your training level, establish a training frequency that won't return reversibility. Have a big gap between training sessions? Deconditioning is possible, and very likely if you have a restricted training frequency. If you currently train two days a week, how do you plan on progressing your training frequency in the future? Intensity. Many coaches see this too often in programs. No intensity variations. We must challenge the body through optimal intensities to maximize results. Your repetitions go hand in hand with intensity. Roughly 85% of your one repetition maximum is six repetitions. If you can lift well over six repetitions, that is not your 85%. Progressive. If you've been using the same weight for weeks now, make a change. Volume. It may be time to change up your volume. There are a variety of volumes to consider while designing a program, but high volume training doesn't necessarily mean greater improvements in strength or further muscle growth. If you have been at three sets of 10 repetitions for a while, what's next? Duration. I get it. In today's society, we are all in a time crunch, but if you're serious about your goals, this is a great recommendation for you. Most of the time, changes in volume and modifications to rest time can greatly impact your duration. If you've been only training for 30 minutes in each session for a while now, it's time to progress. Add 15 minutes or 30. Lastly, movements. Before you progress your movements, master the primary movement patterns. At times, some individuals may need to take a step back and improve their movements in order to progress. Don't worry, in time, you will get there. While developing a training program, it's ideal to include a variety of movement patterns to develop balanced strength. Think about a hinge, squat, upper push, lunge, and carry on your next training day.